Continuing, Rick asks, I have an external drive that Final Cut Pro 10 has decided as a camera. Any idea how that might have happened and how do I fix it? The answer is yes. When we put a camera card in, and I don't have one here, but when you look at the camera card, you're going to see on the camera card are a series of folders that have specific names. DCIM comes instantly to mind, and there are others. If you copy those folders on the camera card and simply drag them as a group to your hard disk, those same folders are at the root level of the hard disk. The camera cards are designed to have a very specific folder structure, and when Final Cut 10 sees that folder structure, it assumes it's looking at a camera card or a camera. So the way you solve that problem is put a camera card in your computer, see what the folders are, look for those exact same folders on your hard disk, and move them from the hard disk into a folder on your hard disk. Once you put them inside a folder and they're not at the root level of the hard disk, Final Cut says, ah, this isn't a camera at all. It's a hard disk, and it treats the hard disk as a hard disk. So what's happened is someone has copied the folders from a camera card to the highest level of your hard disk without putting them in an enclosing folder, which means that Final Cut thinks that the hard disk is now a camera, and it ignores every other folder except those folders that are a camera. So just move them inside, move the camera folders inside a folder, and the Final Cut will see the hard disk as a hard disk again. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar. For the complete version of this online training, please become a subscriber, and you can learn more at LarryJordan.com slash subscriptions. When you do, look for Webinar 163. If you need to stretch your training dollars, a subscription membership to our video training library saves you money. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,200 movies, hundreds of hours of training all in depth and all up to date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash subscriptions. And thanks.